Well, we are getting results for you tonight, helping make the new I-4 express lane safer for all drivers. Yesterday, we told you about the first wrong way head-on crash that sent two people to the hospital. Just days before that, we uncovered the new toll lanes have no wrong way detection system installed like so many other highways. New tonight, FDOT says it is now looking at speeding up the installation of that system instead of waiting until next year. New 6's Eric Monenkin is getting results. He continues his investigation from Altamont Springs. I just heard back from FDOT. They tell me they are now, quote, aggressively exploring avenues to accelerate the installation of that wrong way detection system here and all of the other direct connect ramps that go to the express lanes. The lawmakers we talked to today say they are now pushing for that. When we told local lawmakers that there would be no wrong way detection system on the brand new express lanes down the center of I-4 until next year, no flashing lights and cameras instantaneously warning troopers and dispatchers until 2023. Not even on the direct connect ramps that give drivers direct access to the toll lanes from local roads, like here in Altamont Springs, the lawmakers were worried, especially because we're already seeing the need. A wrong way driver crashed head on yesterday in the express lanes only 10 days after the express lanes opened. State Representative Anna Escamani, a Democrat, calls the lack of a wrong way detection system, quote, incredibly scary and tells me she's contacted FDOT for a response. She says a year is way too long to wait. And Representative Anthony Sabatini, a Republican, I call that an emergency, says he's also writing a letter to FDOT today to get results. But when we put this letter out today asking for uh, FDOT's position on it and why they're not going to be able to get this technology in ASAP, considering the fact that there was a nearly deadly wreck where somebody's already been put in a critical injury, uh, into a critical injury, uh, I think uh, we'll get some answers, hopefully very soon. FDOT also told me that when that wrong way crash happened here yesterday, already one million drivers had passed through these express lanes. Lawmakers, though, say even one crash is too many. They say if there is a system that can be installed here that would prevent any crashes, they say that's worth it. The sooner the better. In Altamont Springs along I-4, Eric Von Aiken getting results. News 6.